Okay, here we're going to graph two periods of y equals negative sine of 1 half x plus 3. The amplitude in this case will be the absolute value of negative 1, which will be positive 1. The period in this case, we've got 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b. The b value in this case will be 1 half. So 2 pi over 1 half will give us 4 pi. If we take the period and divide it into 4, so 4 pi over 4 will give us pi. These are going to be the increments I'm going to use. Just to help me mark things along the x-axis. Um, let's see, what else do we want to think about here? So we certainly have this vertical shift of plus 3, and we'll come back to that. So I think what I'm going to first do is actually graph y equals negative sine of just 1 half x. Okay, so this will be in term, or increments will be pi, so there's 0, I'll make that 1 pi, and then we have uh, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, uh, 7 pi, and then 8 pi. So you can always squeeze in the other ones there, 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi. Hopefully my graph won't get too cluttered there. So if we substitute in x equals 0, we'll get sine of 0, which is 0. The negative won't matter. So at 0, we're sitting at 0. So again, I'm going to graph y equals negative 1 half, or excuse me, uh, negative 1 sine of 1 half x. So negative 1 sine of 1 half x. Well, normally sine increases, but since we have the negative out front, it's going to decrease. So we can put positive 1 there, negative 1 there. So at pi, it'll be at negative 1. At 2 pi, it'll be back at 0. At 3 pi, it'll be at positive 1. At 4 pi, it'll be back at 0. At 5 pi, it'll be at negative 1. And then at uh, it'll be at 0, and then at positive 1, and then back at 0. So that's going to be the graph of negative sine of 1 half x. So to simply get the graph that we want, all we have to do is make a vertical shift of 3 units. So that just means everything's going to get shifted up by 3 units. Probably should have given myself a little more room there. Let's try this one more time. Give myself a little bit more space. And it's now going to be sitting strictly above the x-axis, so I'm not even going to show anything there in the bottom part. So let's see here. So instead of going from negative 1 to 1, if we add 3 units, We'll be going from positive 2 up to positive 4. So let's see, it looks like I'm skipping 2 each time just to make it look somewhat consistent. So now our new graph will be trapped between the y values of 2 and 4. And then again, the, the period, everything stays the same. So we've got pi, 2 pi, um, 3 pi, 4 pi. 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, and then 8 pi there at the end. Okay, and again, just shift everything up by 3 units. So instead of starting at 0, our new graph is going to start at positive 3. And instead of going down to negative 1, it'll simply go down to 2. And then it'll be back at positive 3. And then at 3 pi, it'll be up at positive 4. At 4 pi, we'll be back in the middle. At 5 pi, we'll be at the bottom. At 6 pi, back in the middle. At 7 pi, we'll be at the top. And at 8 pi, again, back in the middle. So again, uh, the, the shape of the graph should be exactly the same. It hasn't been stretched or compressed or anything like that. So that would be two periods of y equals negative sine of 1 half x plus
plus 3.